Faribault city officials finished temporary repairs to a dam that suffered damage following several days of rain. A lot of people looking at fireworks, but other people still trying to figure out what kind of damage they're going to get. The concern now there, more rain in the forecast. Ryan Race joins us live at the dam. Ryan, what is the latest that you're learning there? Temporary fix is what I want to show you, and it's right back there, those rocks on the side of the bank. That's brand new. That was not here before. City officials put those up yesterday to try to slow down and prevent uh, the erosion. But with the expected rain, it's just working against them. Tonight, Fairbow City officials have their eyes on this raging river and the dam that's trying to hold it back. It's down about six feet. We found Paul Moody is watching it just as closely. Moments like this are challenging. Moody owns the historic Fairbow Mill, a business just as old as the dam, nearly 160 years. And it's on the river for a reason and next to a dam for a reason because back in the day, this, this water turned a wheel, wheels that turned shafts that turned, you know, gears that ran and the machinery and so that's part of the part of the, the charm now after days of rain the mills owners are on edge fearing a flood could damage millions of dollars in machinery it's why four years ago they put in this berm this did its job and, and really saved us this time. On the other side of the dam, city workers built up the bank to try to stave off erosion. They're asking the public to stay back. It wasn't like that the last time I was here, and it's, it's definitely, uh, they must have had a pretty big issue with it. Dam safety is top of mind here and around the country. Late last month in Mankato, the raging Blue Earth River carved a path around the Rapidam Dam and now threatens the bridge. Back in Fairbo, the Woolen Mill Dam isn't nearly as big but can still cause problems. Federal records show the last inspection was last year and characterized the hazard level downstream as significant. Now all eyes are on the forecast. You don't know what the weather's going to bring. I mean, if it's an inch of rain, we're probably fine. If, it, if it, we go two inches a day for three days, I don't know. So you, you, we, uh, we do the best we can. Oh, all day long, it's been raining on and off until about 20 minutes ago. The sky opened up and it is uh, sunny out and the people around here would love to see more of this. However, city officials say they can't come here and assess the extent of the damage to the dam until the water levels go down. Live in Fairboat tonight, Ryan Raish, 5 Eyewitness News.